Did you ever collect rocks as a kid? Did you ever paint them vibrant colors and give them to your mom on Mother's Day? Or on the beach, you might stack your precious collection of stones trying to balance them perfectly, like the famous Anukshuk sculpture in Vancouver. Or maybe you'd skip the flat, smooth stones across the water surface. Whatever it is, our fascination with rocks begins at an early age, and mankind's complex relationship with rocks extends back to the beginning of time. Here's a look at the 15 most unreal rock formations. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. Soft Stones There isn't too much to say about Spanish artist Jose Manuel Castro Lopez's incredible rock art. Just take a look at it. He creates pieces which fuse two concepts together perfectly, a hard rock with soft, smooth motion molded right into the artwork. Jose takes stones and crafts it to look as if they've been folded, squashed, scrunched, twisted, even melted, and the results are absolutely beautiful. Have a look at these creations. They literally appear to defy the laws of nature, and they sure look great doing it. Number 14. Dangchia Landform About 540 million years ago, the Dangchia National Geological Park in China was once part of the ocean, but then some tectonic plates collided, the land folded, mountains formed above sea level, and then boom! The landscape was left with steep red cliffs hundreds of feet high with multicolored ridges of weathered strata. Because of the changes in sedimentary environments, the layers formed have different colors, and every layer took thousands of years to form. The movement of the Himalayas lifted the area higher and rivers formed. The river erosion formed gorges, and the early Danchia landscape was created. River erosion and wind erosion formed the rich, colorful layers we see today. A kaleidoscope of rocky outcrops that can resemble cool shapes like castles or towers. And if you let your imagination run wild, maybe even human faces, creatures, birds and beasts, or the tips of your bell tower peeping through the mist and clouds, the crowns people safe in their mountain pavilions. Gazing off into the distance, petting your favorite unicorn, you think to yourself, I have restored peace to the country again. They don't call them the Rainbow Mountains for nothing. Listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2010, this Danchia landform attracts visitors from all over the world. Number 13. Geodes Geode in Greek means shape of the earth, and geodes are spherical rock structures with an internal cavity lined with mineral materials. From the outside, most geodes look like common rocks, but when they're open, the sight can be simply breathtaking. Rich purple amethyst, flawless white crystals, and colorful banded agate. Rare geodes might have beautiful blue gem silica inside, pink rhodochrosite, spectacular opal, and other rare vivid materials like quartz. They're created in hollow areas of the ground, such as animal burrows or tree roots, and they're also formed in the bubbles and volcanic rock. Geodes of all sizes are found throughout the world, in deserts or volcanic areas, and in the United States they can be found in California, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, and Iowa. In fact, the geode is Iowa's state rock. The biggest in the world though, nearly 40 feet wide and almost 40 feet tall, is the geode of Pulpi near Almeria, Spain. And people worldwide collect geodes as items of science, natural art, and jewelry too. Number 12. Uluru Australia's most famous natural landmark has two names, Uluru and Ayers Rock. Over 100 million years in the making, sculpted by heavy winds, rain, and erosion, this sandstone giant has an orange sphinx-like vibe. Over two miles long, a mile wide, and over a thousand feet tall, people from around the world flock to see it, and it's sacred to Australia's Aboriginal community. Even more amazing is the bulk of this massive rock remains hidden underground. Uluru is just the tip of a desert iceberg, so to speak. The reason it has two names is 
Well, the rock was called Uluru by the indigenous people long before Europeans arrived in Australia. In 1873, the explorer William Goss, the first non-Aboriginal person to see Uluru, renamed it Ayers Rock after Sir Henry Ayers, the chief secretary of South Australia at the time. And it stayed that way until 1993, when the rock was officially renamed Ayers Rock, Uluru, the first landmark in Australia's Northern Territory to be given dual names. In 2002, these names were reversed and the rock was officially called Uluru Ayers Rock, which is what they call it to this day. Number 11. The Immortal Bridge Nobody really knows how these enormous rocks off on Mount Tai tumbled into this unusual place, but together they form the Immortal Bridge, a natural bridge spanning high above a seemingly bottomless ravine. Like an exotic computer-generated film location, this perfectly named Immortal Bridge is located in the Yellow Mountains in China and is likely to have been there since the last ice age. Its geological history started in the Cambrian period about 500 million years ago, so it's incredibly old and very important. And because Mount Tai is a mountain of such historical and cultural significance associated with sunrise, birth, renewal, and has been a place of worship for at least 3,000 years, it's one of the most important ceremonial centers in China. Mount Tai is seen as a symbol of the country's peace and prosperity, and it's listed both as a World Natural Heritage and World Cultural Heritage Site. Number 10. Eye of the Sahara When NASA's Gemini 4 mission, a four-day orbit around Earth, was getting ready to launch in 1965, the astronauts were asked to take photos of Earth's terrain and to look for any large circular features which might be the roots of impact structures, like craters, according to the published materials from the mission. They discovered the Eye of the Sahara in the Sahara Desert near Mauritania in western Africa. On the ground, it's about 25 miles across, but this huge and mysterious geological formation is hard to spot walking around on Earth. It turns out that we couldn't really discover this incredible bullseye in the sand until we began rocketing humans into space. But even now that we found it, do we really fully understand it? For a while, scientists did think that the Eye of the Sahara was an impact crater, but they could not prove it and it was discovered that, beginning more than 100 million years ago, the supercontinent was ripped apart by plate tectonics and formed what are now Africa and South America. Molten rock pushed up towards the surface, creating a dome of rock layers like the biggest pimple ever, and eventually, the eye erupted violently. That collapsed the bubble and erosion did the rest of the work to create the eye of the Sahara that we know today. The rings are made of different types of rock that erode at different speeds. The paler circle near the center of the eye is volcanic rock created during that explosion. Fascinating, right? But maybe you didn't know, some people believe that the Eye of the Sahara is actually the remains of the mythical city of Atlantis. I'll let you decide. Number 9. Moriki Boulders The Moriki Boulders are a group of large round stones on Kokyo Beach near Moriki on New Zealand's Otago coast. These boulders are actually concretions that have been exposed through shoreline erosion from coastal cliffs. Each boulder weighs several tons and is up to six feet tall and formed about 65 million years ago. Maori legend tells that the boulders are sacred, mythical remains of calabashes and eel baskets that washed ashore after the legendary sacred canoe, the Aretaru, was wrecked at nearby Shag Point. Early morning and late afternoon are the prime times for photography when brilliant soft sunlight is cast across the rocks, making for spectacular photos. Other times, such as when storms are rolling in, provide an atmosphere and scene that can't be matched anywhere else in New Zealand or the world. Number 8. Valley of the Moon East Chihuahua Provincial Park in Argentina is located 273 kilometers away from the capital of San Juan. It's better known as Val de la Luna, the Valley of the Moon. The special rock deposits were formed slowly over time and have stood ever since. 
Different movements and collisions of the tectonic plates revealed the unique landscape, covered by thousands of meters of younger rocks. Some of these rocks are as round and smooth as marbles because of the constant wind that is eroding them into shape, some more than 130 feet tall. Petrified tree trunks attest to the rich vegetation that once fed the similarly giant creatures that walked among them. No one would have thought that a huge lake surrounded by lush vegetation, where a great variety of plants grew and an incredible amount of animals prospered, would be a desert today with very little rain, strong winds, and high temperatures. Luckily, not everything is gone. The evidence of the Valley of the Moon's ancestors have been discovered step by step. Number 7. Cave of Crystals The Sistine Chapel of Crystals, like Superman's Fortress of Solitude, Mexico's Cave of Crystals, Cueva de los Cristales, contains some of the world's largest known natural crystals. Translucent beams of gypsum as long as 36 feet buried a thousand feet below Nica Mountain in the Chihuahua Desert. Regional fault lines pass right under this mountain and about 26 million years ago, magma started pushing its way toward the Earth's surface through those faults. Ultimately, that process led to the mountain's formation. It also explains the mass of white selenite crystals. Because the crystals remained underwater, the water temperature stayed within a few degrees of 136 degrees Fahrenheit. They were able to keep growing continuously, but the cave itself wasn't found until the year 2000. Water was pumped out, and it was only then researched, and it was realized that it was full of gargantuan, supersized crystals. <laughs> what a score! Number 6. Giant's Causeway Northern Ireland's Giant's Causeway is a place where myth and science meet. Centuries of countless visitors have explored the causeway and marveled at its unique rock formations, with the spectacular basalt columns formed through the rapid cooling of lava from an underwater volcano. Situated on one of the world's most spectacular coastlines, its rocky formations have, for nearly 60 million years, stood as a natural rampart against the unbridled ferocity of the North Atlantic storms, or as local legends say, the stony steps were created by the mythical Irish giant Finn McCool. Legend has it he built the giant's causeway as stepping stones to Scotland so as not to get his feet wet. Apparently, McCool also once scooped up part of Ireland to fling it at a rival, but he missed and it landed in the Irish Sea. The clump became the Isle of Man and the pebble became another small island. The empty void filled with water over time and became Lake Ney. What do you believe, modern science or mythical giants? Number 5. Sailing Stones Death Valley National Park is a strange place, famously known for being the hottest place on Earth. It also sits at the driest and lowest elevation in North America, between California and Nevada. But perhaps its strangest feature of all is the mysterious racetrack Playa, where rocks drift across the flat desert landscape, seemingly propelled by no power other than their own. Known as sailing stones, the rocks vary in size from a few ounces to hundreds of pounds. Though no one has ever seen them actually move in person, the trails left behind the stones and periodic changes in their location make it clear that they are, in fact, moving across the playa. In 2014, scientists were able to capture the movement of the stones for the first time using time-lapse photography. The results strongly suggest that the sailing stones are because of a perfect balance of ice, water, and wind, leaving behind trails as long as 1,500 feet. Whoa! And once a 700-pound block they named Karen, which didn't move at all while being studied, was entirely missing when researchers returned years later. It was over half a mile from the survey site. Now that's amazing. Number 4. Ice Towers of Mount Erebus Mount Erebus's permanent lava lake reaches temperatures of almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but is located in one of the coldest places on Earth. It's the southernmost active volcano and second highest summit on Antarctica's Ross Island at 12,448 feet and has been active since 1972, one of only five such lava lakes that exist in the world. 
its famous ice towers are even more incredible. As gas escapes fissures on the sides of the mountain, the ice pack and snow on the surface begins to melt and hollow out. As the warm, wet air inside escapes into the cold air, it freezes and creates frozen crystals along the edges, building the towers to up to 60 feet tall, or fumaroles with deadly volcanic gases pouring out from their tips, for flinging 10 feet wide volcanic bombs through the air, hunks of molten rock which sometimes explode on landing. That's exciting stuff like the video game Donkey Kong, but in the Antarctic. Number 3. White Desert Egypt is probably most known for its Great Pyramid of Giza. Often overlooked as one of the country's most spectacular landscapes, White Desert National Park or Sahara Beta, the word Sahara meaning a desert. The sprawling sea of sand in western Egypt is a treasure trove of wonderment. It was once a sea or an ocean, and the only evidence remaining is a collection of calcified limestone rocks sculpted over time by sand and wind. Chalky abstract shapes seemingly change their color depending on the time of day, shifting from brilliant white to creamy, then reaching a golden brown. The result in the desert from the remains of microscopic sea creatures whose habitat was located here before about 80 million years ago. After the disappearance of the sea, the winds helped create the desert you see today. The shapes determined by the composition and hardness of the rocks and their layer sequence. Occasionally, you can still find fossils such as clams or sea urchins perfectly preserved in the sands of time. Number 2. Devil's Tower Anchoring the northeast corner of Wyoming is the country's first national monument, the Devil's Tower. It's a jaw-dropping geological feature that rises 867 feet above Wyoming's rolling prairies. For the indigenous Crow people, their legend claims it's the place where a rock rose up from the ground, beneath two sisters, keeping them safe from an attack by an enormous bear. According to the Kiowa people, it was seven sisters, and the rock that grew beneath them was actually a tree stump. The Lakota Sioux call the tower Matotipula, Bear Lodge, and claim it's where a great bear spirit imparted language and healing ceremonies to the human race. Whatever the belief, the Devil's Tower is considered a sacred worship site by many Native Americans who leave colorful prayer cloths tied to trees near its base. Please don't disturb them. And quick fun fact, Devil's Tower had a starring role in Steven Spielberg's sci-fi classic Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Number 1. Chocolate Hills Often dubbed as an eighth wonder of the world, the Philippines' chocolate hills look like a field of giant Hershey kisses. These round hills, usually covered in green grass, dry up and turn brown in color during the dry season. Some as tall as 400 feet, there are more than a thousand hills spread over an area of almost 20 square miles in the towns of Carmen, Batuan, and Sagbayan. And while the hills do vary in size, looking at these from afar, it seems like they're almost symmetrical in shape. The results? A majestic landscape that might make you think it's man-made. According to legends, the hills came to be because two feuding giants hurled rocks, boulders, and sand at each other. Another legend claims that what really happened was a heartbroken giant cried a lot of tears which led to the formation of these limestone hills. The third legend, though, is harder to imagine. They say these hills were dried feces of carabao, a domestic swamp-living water buffalo. <laughs> LOL. Either way, Chocolate Hills was declared a National Geological Monument in June of 1988, and rightfully so. That was the 15 most unreal rock formations. Thanks for watching.